This image represents the mid-sagittal view of fetal brain anatomy at the 11 to 14 week scan. The thalamus and midbrain, the brain stem, and the cisterna magna are demonstrated. Note the NT, nuchal translucency, measurement. This is an image of the transverse view of the fetal brain at 11 to 14 weeks. This sagittal view of the fetal brain at 21 weeks gestation demonstrates the corpus callosum and the vermis. In another sagittal view of the fetal brain at 33 weeks gestation, the corpus callosum and the vermis are demonstrated. The anatomy of the fetal brain changes as gestational age progresses. There are three major scan planes for the fetal brain which accommodate three views. 1. Thalamic view. 2. Ventricular view and 3. The cerebellar view. The thalamic view is taken at the level of the biparietal diameter, BPD, and head circumference, HC. The ventricular view is obtained through the atrium of the lateral ventricle, and the cerebellar view is angled through the posterior fossa, cisterna magna. All are axial, transverse, views of the fetal head, with the exception of the cerebellar view, which is axial oblique. Other planes include the sagittal, parasagittal, and coronal, which may be useful or necessary to define the anatomy. This diagram illustrates the axial or transverse plane of the fetal head in order to obtain the thalamic view. This ultrasound image represents the thalamic view at 23 weeks. Note the thalamus and the box-like structure of the cavum septi pellucidae, CSP. The cerebellum should not be visualized in this plane. The transthalamic plane is the acquisition plane for the biparietal diameter and the head circumference. The presence or absence of the CSP is key to defining abnormal brain anatomy. This image demonstrates the transthalamic plane at 29 weeks. The ultrasound plane is taken just inferior to the CSP and represents the columns of fornix, which is a three-line structure. The narrow third ventricle can be visualized as well as the thalamus. This is a schematic of the lateral ventricles demonstrating the frontal, occipital, and temporal horns with the atrium of the lateral ventricle at the confluence of the occipital horn. The transverse or axial plane will demonstrate the lateral ventricles and the choroid plexus. This is an axial view demonstrating the atria of the lateral ventricle and the choroid plexus. The lateral ventricle measurement is taken at the atrium of the lateral ventricle with the glomus of the choroid plexus visible. The measurement is taken perpendicular to the ventricular cavity and is inner to the inner wall. The cerebellar view is axial oblique with rotation of the transducer from the thalamic view to the cerebellum while obtaining a view of the central cerebellar echogenic vermis. This plane allows visualization of the cerebellum and cisterna magna, posterior fossa. Note the cerebral peduncles, the CSP, and the thalamus. The cisterna magna, or posterior fossa, is illustrated here. The transcerebellar diameter is measured as illustrated from the outer to the outer aspect of the cerebellum and varies by gestational age. Note the box-like cavum septi pellucidae, CSP, which is seen with the cerebellar view. The visual presence of the CSP confirms that the acquisition plane is correct. The placement of the calipers for measurement of the cisterna magna, or posterior fossa, is illustrated. The calipers are placed from the outer aspect of the cerebellar vermis to the internal side of the occipital bone, and the measurement is normally between 2 mm and 10 mm. The mid-sagittal view of the fetal brain best accomplishes visualization of the corpus callosum, cavum septum pellucidum, and posterior fossa, as well as the nasal bone. In this sagittal midline view of the brain, note the corpus callosum, 
Cavum Septi Pellucidae, CSP, and Vermis. This is another sagittal midline view of the fetal brain demonstrating the corpus callosum, Cavum Septi Pellucidae, CSP, and the Vermis. Note the associated measurements. The sagittal midline view of the brain with color Doppler demonstrates the pericolosal artery. The pericolosal artery is a continuation of the anterior cerebral artery, and it continues superiorly and posteriorly supplying the corpus callosum and the medial aspect of the cerebral hemisphere. The approximate coronal views can demonstrate the lateral ventricles, especially the frontal horns in an effort to determine whether there is fusion across the midline. The midbrain, choroid plexus, and cerebellum can also be assessed in this plane. In this example of the coronal view, the crossing of the fibers of the corpus callosum, as well as the lateral ventricles are demonstrated. This coronal view demonstrates the body of the lateral ventricles and the midbrain, including a portion of the cerebellum. The coronal view may also demonstrate the echogenic choroid plexus. This plane may be more easily obtained when the fetus is in breech presentation, 